Okay, we're gonna start. First, you have to remove 11 screw. Okay, this particular model has three M.2 NVMe SSD um, slot. One is occupied for the operating system, and you got two additional empty slot. One, two, and this one is the third one here that goes here in the screw, and it has a built in screw. Two ROM slot and this is for the Wi-Fi card battery remove the battery first you have to remove two screw one two and I use a you can use a tweezer any of this one to remove the battery to remove the RAM Then we have to remove the M.2 SSD. This one has um, one terabyte. Put this back just to make sure it's not gonna lost. Then using a tweezer, remove the two wire of the um, Wi-Fi card. This one has a killer Wi-Fi. Then you have to remove the two fan connector. This connector for this fan and this connector for this fan and 12 screw that holds the heatsink of the CPU and the GPU and the fan. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But before that, you have to remove these two tapes, black tapes here, this one and this one. Okay.
and remove the fan connector. When you remove it, be careful lifting it up. Make sure it will not gonna bend. Slowly and gradually. I forgot, you have to remove this one as well. This connector you have to remove first, link for the LCD screen. So you have to remove this one first before you can take off all the, the heatsink. To remove this, just use two tweezers, put this one both sides and then push it that direction. This is the fan model if just in case if you need um, to replace your uh, fan. What I found out is it seems like the manufacturer use sticky uh, thermal paste for the B RAM here and some other uh, chips and use like a normal um, thermal paste for the CPU and the GPU and then what I'm gonna do this time have to remove clean up all this paste and then instead of thermal paste for the VRAM I'm gonna use one um, Arctic thermal pad this one is really good it's really good performance and it has um, one one millimeter this one here one millimeter so this is equivalent to this one and for the CPU and the GPU thermal paste we're gonna use the Noctowa NTH2 Not to wire NTH2, this is a really good one. Okay, I have to clean up all this mess. To clean up this mess, I'm gonna use a 99.9% isopropyl alcohol and a cotton buds and a cotton pad. Don't use 60% isopropyl alcohol because it's um, it's not safe to use compared to 99%. 99% is more pure and it could. Um, evaporate easily and quickly so it will not gonna harm your components it could dry up easily by the way if you wonder where to buy um, a soap of alcohol you can just buy in eBay or Amazon That is the good thing of using a 99.9% alcohol. The thermal pads, thermal paste, 
it could be solved easily easy to clean up look at the dust of this laptop that is from the fans it's not been clean maybe for years These thermal pads here is um, still really good so I'm not going to bother to remove it and replace it. Look at this. It's totally blocked the fan. To clean up all the dust, I've used these very handy tools, very, very useful. It's called the um, X Power. It's a blower. It has a 550 watts. And it's really powerful. You got, um, you got few attachments included with it. This one. This brush, very powerful. If you want to buy this, one of these, um, I put it in the description. And also, I use a brush, just a normal brush. By the way, the the thickness of this um, thermal pads. This one is one millimeter. Battery model number, just in case if you need them to replace yours. And the fan this is the left hand side fan and there's like um, a model number embedded on the metal plates and the other fan on the left hand side Okay, um, it's time to replace the thermal pads. Uh, I'm going to use the um, Arctic thermal pads, which is one millimeter.
and for the thermal paste for the CPU and GPU I'm using um, Noctowa into H2 these are good performer So we have to put it back the um, heat sink. So you have to um, screw in the CPU and GPU screw first. screen connector fan connector and the left hand fan connector so just to refresh the upgrade option on this laptop is only the RAM two RAM slot three M.2 NVMe SSD one one two and three so you got you got um, two expansion slot and the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi card And then you have to check all the connector connected properly. Make sure everything's connected. And then lastly, the battery. And then check the rotation of the fan that make sure it rotates freely. Okay, so you have to put it back the cover again.
Okay, that's it. It's done. So this is the tools that I've used. Power stick. This is an electric driven battery screwdriver. And it's a Phillips screw PH1 tweezer. Not toa. Measuring caliper. Thermal pads. Alcohol. And brush. Thank you for watching.